Good morning. Good morning. Let's try that again. Good morning. All right. I like that response. I want to take this time to welcome you guys here and to welcome those watching us on video at home. Thank you for joining us this morning. Our lesson it today is on David and King Saul and how they handle anger. And there's a lot to learn in here. At home, please log on into the Right Now Media. There will be a, an invitation and you can log on to that and be sure to log on to the link so you can answer the questions as we will be asking questions here today. The first thing I wanna do, oh, I'm Teacher Tana. I didn't introduce myself and I have all these people at home and I have these beautiful faces here and I'm so thankful for that. We're going to go into our memory verse can everybody see it? Can you see it from over here? Can you see yeah. it online? Okay. It's um, it's actually a song written by David, who's in our story today. And it says, we find it in Psalm 13.6. What do I like to call that? That's our the address. address. The address. Say it again. The address. address. That's where we can find it. Just like we have an address of where we live, so do our scriptures. And it says, I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Can you say it with me? I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Psalm 13.6. What I would like to do is do kind of a motions, kind of a, a, a game of charades. And so I will, go with me, I will, I will sing, sing to who? The Lord. the Lord. I will sing to the Lord. Why? For he has been good to me. Address? Psalm 13.6. Psalm 13.6. Very, very good. Let's, let's say the first line I want this side of the room to say. At home you can say it with us. And the second line, I want this side of the room to say, and then we will say it all together. Got it? Does that sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. Okay, this side first. Uh, first our address, sorry, got my bad. Psalm, Psalm 13, 13, 13, 6. 13, I, I will sing to the Lord, Lord, for he has been good to me yes very good does anybody think they can say it on their own from their desk you want to try it do you want to be first i think i'll turn this around do you want me i can get rid of just a couple of words do you want to try it that way or do you want me to just get rid of this all together Think you can do it without looking at the door? Oh. No? Okay. Can I get a Kleenex or something? Okay, what do you guys think? Erase two words? Yeah. Yes. Come up with two? Okay, let's give it a crack. She's gonna try it here for us first. Nice big voice. I can do 
I. I. Can we give her some help? Will. 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 To the who? Everybody help? Lord. 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 For he was in good to me. And the address? Psalm um, 36. Very, very good. Do we have another person that would like to try it? You want to try? Okay. What word should I erase this time? How about Okay. I will sing to the Lord for he has been good to me. Psalm 13. Yes, give her a hand. Do we have anybody brave enough to try it without any words? Okay, I'm going to just turn this around. Okay, when you're ready. I will say to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Woo! 36. Yes, yes. Go ahead. In the back. I sing the Yes. Let's all try it together with no board. Are you ready? Yes. What, what is the address? Psalm 36. You start. I'll help you, but you start. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Psalm 13.6. Psalm 13.6. You guys are so good. You yes, did we good. Are. Yes, you are. Very well done. Yes, we can talk for ourselves. We can talk for our friends at home. We just saw a story about King David, or King Saul and David. And oh my God, does my glasses keep fogging up? There too. They're two people that handle things completely differently, don't you think? One definitely listened to God and obeyed him, and one not so much. I have two friends that are going to help me with this. Um, yes, sir? I want to help. You want to help? Well, we'll see. We'll see what we can do here as we move along. The Saul disobeyed God, and God took his spirit from him because he wasn't obeying him. Now, David, on the other hand, did David obey God? Yes. yes. Did David look for the right way to do things? Yes. Yes. I like that about David. The people like David. And Saul got a little bit jealous of that. Because can you remember the song they made up? Saul kills his thou kills thousands. David Ten thousand, so they definitely showed that they liked David's accomplishments more than Saul's, and that made him jealous 
and even angry. Can, um, can you all together tell me what does Saul do when he gets jealous and angry at David? Oh. Go ahead. Um, he goes spear at him and tries to kill him. A little louder, the masks is hard. He throws a spear at him and tries to kill him. Yeah, and not just once. Yes, in the back. And the evil spirits um, came to make him evil. Mm -hmm. That's that's okay. what happens. That's what happens when you don't listen to God. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a few questions. First of all. Do you, does anybody remember what you guys learned about last week? Izzy? Um, he wanted to do the, um, remember? Okay. We talked about yes. doing yes. the memory verse and giving them Bible books for whoever could remember last week's memory verse. So go ahead, Izzy, go for it. Yeah. We want them to not fight sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. Uh, so we've been reading a lot about that in our in our um, Bibles this last 20 some days. Um, in the beginning, it's the children. And why was Chris mad at the two boys in the beginning? What did they break? Um, go ahead, Barbie. They broke his guitar. They broke his guitar. Why? Because um, I think they were jealous um, that he was um, doing a concert. Mm -hmm. And I think they were kind of mean. What do you think? Yeah. They're kind of mean kids. Let's move on. Did Chris want to make them pay to get back at them? Go ahead. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Would you kind of feel that way? Our little human spirits kind of just want to, as Chris would say, get back at them. In my body, yes. <laughs> Why did Saul want to and try to kill David? I, this is a multi um, question was it because David was more handsome than Saul a no he was jealous of David's success as a soldier or David was younger and stronger than him go ahead sweetie Younger and stronger, that is true. He was younger and stronger. I'm not sure that's why he was so jealous. But that would that would be reason. part of it. What would be another reason another reason? Chase. He, he, he has he, he was a good he was a good soldier. Mm -hmm. Was because of all that? And all of his success, do you think that Saul was jealous of him? Yeah. Because yeah. Saul wanted to be the big man. He wanted, he was king. He should be the one everybody talked about according to his mind. Was David loyal to Saul and doing what Saul commanded, even though he was trying to kill him? Chase. Yes, most definitely yes, yes, yes. Definitely yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Did David get back at Saul and try to get revenge? No, because David was with the Lord, and the Lord should give um, people another chance. Good answer. That girl gets some Bible books. Last question. At the end, when we're back with the kids, did Chris get revenge against the boys that stole his guitar and broke it? Yes, no. Yes. Go ahead, Maya. No? Maya, you say no? Yes. No is correct. A little bit. I have some friends that are going to help us. 
I think you all know Chippy. Hi. How's everybody doing? And I have another friend that you haven't met yet. This is my little friend. Can you say hi and welcome? Hi. Hello. We're going to talk about dilemmas. Paul and David were both in dilemmas. Does any, can anybody tell me what dilemma means? Think, maybe? You're the only one with your hand up. Go ahead, Jay. Talk loud, the, the glass muffles. An argument, or like a dis, or like some, like a disagreement, or, a, or maybe possibly like a war, like there was a Disagreement is a good word. When there, dilemma is when there is a choice that has to be made. And sometimes you can't tell which is the best way to go, but you usually know. Well, Tippy has some things for us to discuss. Uh, he has something on his heart for us. And they are called dilemmas. Yeah. Miss Misty is going to read the dilemma. And what I want you to do is, Tippy here is going to represent or is going to be David. So, when she reads the dilemma, I'm gonna say, what do you think David would do? And our pretty bird here is going to represent, is going to be King Saul. Because, you know, kings usually had really pretty robes and dressed really nice, and God dressed this bird beautifully. But Tippy's very, very cute, right? So, who is this? Tippy David. This is David. And this? It's Saul. It's Saul. Okay. And we're going to see how to handle, how we would handle our dilemmas. Okay. Dilemma, the first one. You know that nothing pleases your mom more than when you help her without being asked. Just as you are thinking of doing that, a friend calls and asks you to come over and play. Do you go? Would you answer this according to King David? David or King Saul? Um, I would stay and help my mom without asking. David I think that's what David would do. Everybody clap for the answer and for David. <laughs> Next one. Oh my goodness. It's going to be. You have worked for a friend's mother for over three months. Although a certain amount per hour was agreed on, you have not received one cent. You have mentioned this to your friend who doesn't want to get involved. Will you, con will you confront his mother? Ooh. Saul or David? Go ahead in the back. Saul. Think Saul would, from the way he acted in our video and the way he was going after David, even though David did nothing against him, do you think he would confront or not? Uh, yes. I think he would. Okay. What do you think David would do? David would probably not her. Read the very last of the card again. Oh, is confront yes. a bad thing or a good thing? Do you tell, oh, actually says, so do you tell, will you confront the mother? Oh, confront the bad she, thing, right? Well, what do you think? This is a dilemma, let's talk about that. It seems like it's a bad thing. Well, if you, if she agreed to give you the money and she hasn't yet, what should you do? Go ahead. Well, confronting is like um, someone said they would do something, but they don't do something, and then you're just waiting. You go over there and you're like, hey, you said you would do this and you're not doing it. And, and that's like confronting them, and I would confront 
like a mom. Do you think that maybe David would find a kind way to settle it? it because is it really fair for her to let you do all that work and not pay you like she said she would? Mm -hmm. so, I, I think in some way somebody needs to. Oh. I think that's what David would say. Let's go to the next dilemma. You go to the market with your sister and your mom. After you get back to the house, you notice two candy bars in your little sister's pocket. Do you tell your mother? What do you think? In the back. A little louder, she said David. David. I think David would tell tell his mother. That one, um, that one's pretty close to to um, me. I know a few little girls and boys that had a hard time when mama said, No, we don't need any candy. Well, they really wanted the candy, and the candy kind of went home without the mama paying for it. And that wasn't right, was it? So there was a lesson there to be learned and the children learned it and, and it wouldn't have happened without confrontation. So it seems like David's winning the dilemmas. He seems to react correctly. Because, can you remember why in our story? Why did David do the right thing? Chase? Because he, because he was obeying God. Because he listened to God, right? Can we listen to God like that? Yes. 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 Do we need to ask God for help with our dilemmas? Yes. Yes, yes I do. I don't know about you, but I do. And I picked up something here. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? No questions? Do you think that David deserved to be the next king of Israel? Yeah. 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 And you know what? So did God. God picked him and anointed him as king. And... Saul was very first king, and for a while he listened to, to God, and he did well. But the key is always invite God's opinion in and listen to it. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Shall we clap? Shall we clap for our puppets? Thank you. Thank you. I'd like us to pray. We're going to end this part of Sunday school class with a prayer. I see everybody here is folding their hands and bowing their heads. I invite you at home to do the same. Oh, Lord, we thank you for blessing this time. We thank you for being here. We thank you for a story about something so important as listening and obeying you. That should be so simple because you are God of the universe. You are Lord of all and you know so much more than we do. And I, for one, want to walk with you, not against you. I, for one, want to listen to you, hear your voice, and obey because that is the best way to go through this life and I pray that over each one of these children 
that as they listened to these dilemmas and they saw how David and King Saul handled their anger, their emotions, Lord, I pray that they will handle them the way David did and be the loyal servant to you that David was. Thank you for this story and this time. And may we go forward listening and obeying you. Amen. Amen. Amen.